The different types of trucks are among the most powerful vehicles on the road since they are designed to transport TH. The different types of trucks are among the most powerful vehicles on the road since they are designed to transport the most significant objects ever made or born. Furthermore, it has to travel by road, whether it's animals, boats, machinery, equipment, or produce, it'll be transported by truck. The most significant objects ever made or born. Trucks are even built to transfer large hauls of hard drives between Amazon headquarters because transporting data this way is faster. So, whatever you think of them, driving trucks retains a certain freshness and objective use. Here is the list of some of the types of trucks. Pickup truck. In most homes, pickup trucks are the only option. They are, nonetheless, trendy. The Ford F-Series best-selling pickup truck is followed by the Chevrolet Silverado and the Dodge Ram pickups. In addition, I don't own a pickup truck, but there have been occasions when I wished I did. We towed bikes and kids gear around a lot, so it'd be easier to throw everything in the back instead of trying to cram it all through the hatch of our crossover. Box truck. This is a vehicle with a cuboid or box-shaped cargo and a chassis cab. The cabins of most box trucks are isolated from the cargo. However, some have doors leading to the other two rooms. Additionally, the construction of most box trucks and vans differs, with the former having no connection between the chassis and the cargo box and the latter having one. However, the vehicles are typically 10 to 26 feet long, with payload capacities ranging from 12,500 to 33,000 pounds. They have garage doors that roll up like rear doors and are used by businesses to deliver household appliances, furniture, and other items. Australian Road Train a vehicle carrying 112 trailers is the world's longest road train. It is also a type of truck. That's a significant distance for a train, let alone a truck. Additionally, except in Australia, where the route from coast to coast is straight as an arrow, allowing for the hauling of more than three trailers, road trains are rarely used. Tipper truck. A tipper truck, also known as a dump truck, is used to transport loose materials such as sand, gravel, and demolition debris. However, it is commonly used to transport raw materials for mixing or crushing during construction and significant building projects. In other words, it has an open box bed and is hinged at the back so that it may tip upwards and efficiently unload the material. Furthermore, in Europe, dump trucks have been in use since the 19th century. While the originals were generally hauled by horses and used to dump farm waste, the designs have become more industrial. Hydraulic lift gates were added in the 1910s and were utilized for supplies during World War I. Trailer truck. A full trailer is a word used in the United States to describe a freight trailer with front and rear axles drawn by a drawbar. In Europe, the exact vehicle is called an A-frame drawbar trailer. It has a width of approximately 2.5 meters and nearly 35 to 40 feet. Furthermore, freight trailers are used to transport large amounts of material over long distances. However, they can be used to transport furniture and supplies and large cargoes of raw materials. There are entire businesses dedicated to freight movements that make a lot of money transporting enormous amounts hundreds of miles. Livestock truck. Animals are transported to and from farms using livestock trucks. They are types of trucks used to transport livestock. It's a vehicle designed specifically to hold animals and keep them in place. Furthermore, some are even outfitted with specialized apparatus to ensure that they remain still and adequately nourished. The back or top of the trucks usually is somewhat ajar so that the livestock may get some fresh air and not be crammed into a cramped space. In addition, they become agitated as a result of this. They are not the strongest tracks, but they are among the most durable because they must haul large animals. Furniture truck. Animals are transported to and from farms using livestock trucks. It's a vehicle designed specifically to hold animals and keep them in place. Some are even outfitted with specialized apparatus to ensure that they remain still and adequately nourished. The back or top of the trucks usually is somewhat ajar so that the livestock may get some fresh air and not be crammed into a cramped space. However, they become agitated as a result of this. They are not the strongest tracks, but they are among the most durable because they must haul large animals. Tankers. Tankers are also types of trucks used for transporting liquids. When transporting liquid or liquefied materials, a tanker is frequently utilized. Oil, gasoline, water, liquid chemicals, fertilizers, and insecticides are all examples of this. Insulated, pressurized, and built for single or multiple loads, the containers are standard. Because of their high center of gravity, tankers are extremely difficult to maneuver. Logging truck. A timber lorry, sometimes known as a logging truck, 
is a vehicle that transports significant amounts of timber between distant locations. They are equipped with integrated flatbeds or independent tractor units to disperse cargo across tractor units and a dolly trailer. However, the first was constructed in 1913 to transport wood felled along riverbeds to the city or adjacent villages. Furthermore, the timber business faced massive demand when World War I began, and more and more logging trucks were designed to meet that need more effectively. Snow plows. Snow plows are types of trucks used in the snow. It has only one purpose, to blow away the snow accumulated on the roadways to allow cars to pass freely. It's used to clear snow and ice off of outdoor surfaces that are used for transportation. This word refers to cars that have snow plow attachments but aren't explicitly designed for them. They are also classified as winter support vehicles. Cement truck. A cement truck, also known as a concrete mixer, is equipped with a concrete mixer. It transports the mixing equipment to the locations where it is required. Furthermore, the rotating machinery makes concrete by mixing cement and water and pouring it into the designated areas. Additionally, these can be found on the ground, in particular molds, and so on. However, due to constant motion, the machinery allows the cement to remain in its liquid condition for a longer time, providing it a higher quality and longer use term than if it were held in situ. The cement is usually discharged from the back and mixed in a steel or fiberglass drum. Car transporter truck. This is a single decker enclosed or double decker open vehicle carrier with various slots for holding cars in place during a long journey. However, they come with built-in ramps for loading and unloading vehicles and can be open or closed. Additionally, these are typically used to transport automobiles from manufacturers to dealerships. These trucks aren't like flatbed trucks in that they don't have loaders or winches. Fire truck. A fire truck is designed to transport the necessary equipment to extinguish a fire at its source. It is usually equipped with hoses and sirens and adequate cargo room to accommodate a firefighting crew. It has automated lifting ladders as well as breathing devices, including masks and oxygen canisters. Additionally, this is kept alongside the clothes and protective gear that firefighters require to do their jobs properly. Tow truck. A tow truck, also known as a breakdown lorry or a recovery vehicle, is a vehicle that is being towed, improperly parked, disabled, or otherwise indisposed. However, when a law is breached, an accident occurs, or infrastructure is destroyed, and a vehicle needs to be removed from the situation, the truck may be called in. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.